having these four incredible fighters sitting here on stage, same weight class, world title here? Um, yeah, well, obviously, there's a purpose to having two in the same weight class. You know, cruiserweights wouldn't really make sense <laughs> in either fight. But, yeah, you could see the 130-pound division, what we're doing now, what we have planned for the rest of the summer is really heating up. Um, you know, some people like to call it tournaments. We just want to make fights in the same division. And, obviously, the winners of these fights are going to be put in a better place to get those title fights. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an exciting time. Well, listen, let's get to our main event the WBC Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. Our champion is with us, Oshaki Icewater Foster, the challenger, Abraham El Supernova. Champ, I want to start with you. First of all, congratulations. Uh, your first fight with top rank, so congratulations on that. And uh, ESPN Madison Square Garden. How do you feel? Man, I feel good. Uh, first off, I want to thank God for um, put me in this position. I want to thank Top Rank, uh, ESPN, my team, everybody that has something to do with putting this together. Um, man, I just feel blessed, man. Uh, walking up to the arena, everything, man, it just feel different, like I belong. So I'm ready to go out there and, and you know, put on the show. Listen, you have been public and outspoken. You're from Orange, Texas, and the road to this seat was not easy for you. And you talk about it, and we're all aware of it, and I think that makes you who you are today. Speak on that for a minute, knowing that that journey to this chair and the road that you, you traveled to get here, how special is that for you and your family? Man, um, it's everything for me. Um, the ups and downs, the um, in and out, doing, doing, you know, just growing, you know, growing as a person, being, being growing into a man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm mature now, mentally, physically, and Everything just came together the right way. I'm ready like, to put on a show, man. It's, words can't even explain how I feel right now. I want to bring in uh, your opponent, challenger, El Supernova. Not the first time we've sat down. Congratulations on being here as well and, and this title shot. What does it mean to you, world title shot, Friday night? Well, first, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for, this, for everything he has done and put me in this position that I am today. Um, you know, fighting for, fighting for a world title, it's, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, fighting for your dreams, you know, and um, having this opportunity, I, I can't let it slip past. I've been, I've been wanting a world title for God knows how long, and um, now I got this opportunity. I'm super excited. I'm super motivated, and um, I just put my trust in God. I know that um, I'll come up victorious on Friday night. No fear, no doubt. In a day when a ton of people are helping fighters, you have promotional companies, you have managers uh, to help you along the journey, you stay manager-free. You manage your career. Why? Um, um, I like I like to take control in things. You know, I'm I'm gonna do that. It's the main reason I pick boxing because I it's the individual sport and I have control of what I do. So the same thing with you know being myself manager, I have control and, and I could uh, mm -hmm. uh, set things aside and put things how I want and put in my gameplay. So definitely, um, I'm in control now. And, and I do have a I have a good team behind me, but um, you know what I mean um. The number, the, the, the number one person who has control is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love it. Speaking of managers and, and people that help him, Keith Mills, Bobby Benton, what do they mean to you? Uh, you know, that's family, man. That's, that's everything. You need, you need that support system. You need those people. And they got to be genuine. You know, um, they helped guide me ever since I came back to boxing. And, you know, it's been going rolling ever since. Your last fight uh, was your first. You want to tell? Look, you got excited, right? Your last fight was uh, your first title defense, and I got a quote here from Steve Farhood, who's an International Boxing Hall of Fame inductee, and he said, "Quote: There have been thousands of world title fights, but Oshaki Foster became only the 14th fighter in a title fight to trail on points going into the last round and scored a stoppage to win." So before I go to you, let's just well, go to well, Slow down. <laughs> all right. So um, he was in Mexico fighting a Mexican. All right. And um, <laughs> that, that's a good start, Carl. <laughs> Thank you for clearing I'm not you. saying. I'm just saying. Um, they tried to take it from him, you know, and he put it, it put business in his hands and he took care of business. And not a lot of people saw it because it was on the zone. But if you go back and watch it on YouTube. No, I don't disrespect. I'm just. 
stating facts. Not a, not a lot of people saw it. Welcome to Yuck Yucks here in New York City. So comedy cellar. You know, you go from doing what he had to do in Mexico, and listen, I've been doing this for 37 years. I know what it's like there, and to go down there and literally take the title that's his back to the United States shows you what this kid's made of. And usually after a fight like that, you know, oh, I need an easy defense. And when we were talking to his manager, they, they picked Nova, you know, after we offered him three guys and we're looking at each other like, okay, <laughs> we'll get you Nova. Because Nova's got reach, he's got height, he can box, he can punch, he can do it all. So that alone before the bell rings shows you what Oshaki's made of. And uh, you can take the rest about how the water was in Mexico and everything else. <laughs> and the food. Talk about that for a minute. You're in the corner, the end of the 11th, the bell rings, and you, you know what you got to do. What was that moment like? Man, I, <clears throat> it, it, it was, man, it was crazy. It was crazy. I, uh, we shocked the world, man, and, and I'm here. I'm here to do it again. You know, my my, my name is Shock. Uh, everybody called me Shock, and 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 we gonna keep doing that. Um, I knew I had him in the 12. You know, he barely made it out the 11, and I'm always in shape. I I go plenty around, so it don't matter one through 12. I can get you. So, well done. Carl mentioned it coming back to you, Nova. This fight has the making to be an all-out war based on your style, his style. What do you need to do Friday night to walk away a world champion? Um, the main thing I gotta do is put my trust in God. Um, everything I've done in the gym is, um, it's been done. Um, you know what I bring, you know what I come with. No fear, no doubt. So, um, you know, the pressure's gonna be on, um, the IQ's gonna be on, the mental, the strength, everything's gonna be on. It's just time to adjust and um, come up with the victory. We got the mascot Friday night coming back out? Absolutely, it doesn't miss. Thank you. I love it, I love it. Chad, one last question for you. He, he's a seasoned fighter. You know, Carl even mentioned here when, when they threw three fighters in front of you and you asked for Nova. He, uh, he's been here before, he's hungry. What do you gotta do to stop him? Uh, man, we've been calling for Nova for years now. He know it, um, but but his excuse was at the beginning, oh, my name wasn't big enough or whatever, but you know, it's funny how the tables turn. But, you know, we ready. I'm ready to go out there and put on a show. I've been familiar with his style, and we did everything in the gym. We prepared. So come Friday night, I will be going out there and dominating and putting on the show. Did you pass on, on fighting him in the past? You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, if, that he, if he thinks I passed, and that's his opinion, you know, I, um, I don't, I don't, like I said, I can't say really like I passed or didn't pass, but um, he's a great fighter, and um, the opportunity is here now, and um, you know, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get to rumble. The strap on his shoulder, I'm sure, changed things. It's a world title shot. You're not gonna say no to that. Absolutely, you know, he got the strap on his shoulder. You know, that's my, you know, that's, every fighter, you know, goal is to fight for that and to win it. So um, definitely, you know, um, he's with top rank. I'm with top rank. It only makes sense. Champ. Bro, don't act like you remember, bro. You made, you did video saying that I, I wasn't, I didn't have a big enough name. But if, we'll leave it at that. If, 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 if you remember, I, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, if I, if I don't remember, I don't remember. But hey, hey, if, if it's there, please put it out there. You know, I remember. I remember everything though. I, I've been paying attention to you guys since I came back. I've been calling for because they was pushing you heavy in the beginning. I've been calling for you. You had your excuse, or my name wasn't big enough. You can act like you don't remember, but that always stuck with me. That's why you was the name that I called for the first fight on the top rank. Right? All right. Well, you know I me. Mean? We here now. So you got your, you know, you got your, you got your call, and now it's happening. You got the call. Yeah. Well, you mean you got your, your, your wishes. You know. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for calling you know I me mean? for. Allowing me to fight for a world title, giving giving me the shot. I, trust me, this is this is every fighter's dream. So for you, you know what I mean, to um remember that and give me this opportunity, I can say thanks. Respect, respect. All right, we'll leave it at that. It's Madison Square Garden. I expect nothing less. Carl, thank you so much. Again, congratulations to Shushu. Uh, Larry, thank you for the jersey. I'm assuming it's somewhere back there. Uh, we're going to be right back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern to get them on the scale. Again, it's Friday night here at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. You do not want to miss it. Gentlemen, thank you for your time this afternoon. As always, this is boxing. This is top rank. We'll see you tomorrow. Super.
work. Here we go. Put your mics down on the chairs, man. Matt, Matt. All the fighters first. Matt. Right in front of the chairs. Get close. And, uh, get a wide, Matt. Hold your jerseys up. Uh, and, uh, names out front. Okay, get it closer, guys. Yeah, get a wide with the group. Chevalier. Tell Chevalier. Chevalier. Back up, guys. Chevalier. 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 Thank you. 